All right, so as you can see, Chuck Brickman is joining me today, and I've got a story to share with you about Chuck. He doesn't want me to share it, but don't look at me like that, Chuck. I'm telling it. I don't know why he's so private about stuff. There's like five people watching this channel. It's not a big deal. I'm sharing it. Now, as you may remember, last time we saw Chuck, he had just survived a very dangerous and realistic looking drone accident. Stimmy Cam 1. I felt partially responsible for that, seeing as I didn't tell him to charge the battery. But to make it up to him, I got him a trip to wherever he wanted to go. It's his destination was San Francisco. So I booked him a flight out of Philly. This is him all ready to go. And up in the air, he saw this cool sheet of clouds. He said he wanted to jump out onto it because it looked fluffy, but the flight attendant said no. So he filled out a complaint card. You're still waiting to hear back on that one, right, Chuck? cool shot Chuck got. It's over Colorado. It was all snowy. And he was curious after that, like, what does the world look like when the snow stops? Like, is it just a sudden stop and then you just see no snow? Or is it like a gradient fade? Well, apparently it looks like this. This is over Utah. The snow just kind of stops. He did fly over Confusion Range, but he said he's a little shaky on the details of what happened there. Anyway, after that, Chuck enjoyed a sunset over Nevada. Nevada? Nevada? And I don't know if you picked up on this or not, but Chuck refused to wear a mask the entire flight. That didn't go over well. You see, because after sunset, Chuck fell asleep. And then when he woke up, he was in Alcatraz. Yeah, American Airlines is not playing around with their mask rules. <laughs> so there's Chuck across the country, imprisoned in one of the most secluded places of all time. Surrounded by water, or as they say in California, water. Weird. On the plus side though, Chuck did not get altitude sickness because he's stronger than that. That'd be pretty lame if he got to California with altitude sickness and like threw up in a McDonald's parking lot and then three more times in a toilet. But that's just hypothetically speaking, something that could happen, but didn't. In addition to that, and no offense meant to you Chuck, but he's a little smaller. So plotting an escape was not that complicated. That prison just wasn't meant to hold him. Anyway, Chuck made it to shore in San Francisco. And first thing he did there, Bless his little heart. He sent me this selfie. We got these guys here. No offense. I like the paint job, I like what you're doing. But this California hydrant, that's something. Is he evil? Is he mischievous? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. What is that facial expression? Another thing Chuck did was visit the headquarters of the TIA. So you don't hear about this one as much, but there's the Central Intelligence Agency, and then you've got the bottom intelligence agency, which is really just hearsay and like stuff you can read on Twitter. And then there's that cream of the crop intelligence, the TIA, the top intelligence agency. Did I go too far for that joke? Was it too much of a journey? We're here now, enjoy it. Oh wow, what did that tree do wrong? It's all tied up. It's a good thing they didn't have that stuff for you, Chuck. They could have tied you down in that prison. After spending a lovely week in California, Chuck found himself at a marina, sitting on a rock, pondering life's most intriguing questions. Like, 
How lame would it have been if Chuck had gotten altitude sickness and threw up one time in a McDonald's parking lot and then three times in his girlfriend's aunt's bathroom? Again, that's just a hypothetical situation. It didn't happen to anyone. And if it did happen to someone, it's not like it's, it, it happens to everybody. It's, it's a, the only reason it didn't happen to Chuck is because he's not human. It's a human problem. Let it go, okay? Just, just let it go. In the end, Chuck did return to Jersey, got some cool shots from the plane, was a tad bit immature over Illinois, couldn't stop laughing at Effingham. So that was Chuck's California adventure. Thank you all for getting the runs with me and with Chuck. And, oh, what is this? Chuck Brickman, you're under arrest. Wait, is this the Alcatraz police? You guys took the boat on land? You have the right to remain silent. Oh, Chuck, I'm so sorry. Is this why you didn't want me telling the story? Give it up, Chuck. You're coming back to the rock. I'm so sorry, man. Don't make us use force, Chuck. Just come peacefully. Chuck, I'm sorry.